buried rather deeply in the 53 titles or sections of the Code of the Laws of the United States is a simple statute, the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, written by Congress and signed into law by President Richard Nixon in 1971. The Act identifies and dates the nine federal holidays. Among them is the third Monday in February, specified in the Act as Washington's birthday, and not, as is often thought, President's Day. But in attempting to simplify arrangements for federal holidays, Congress did what it occasionally does. It complicated them. For by placing the commemoration of Washington's birthday on the third Monday in February, Congress effectively chose a range of dates, specifically between 5th February the 15th and the 21st, which had the unfortunate effect that the official date of Washington's birthday never now occurs on Washington's actual birthday, which is, of course, February the 22nd. Congress had first legislated to make Washington's birthday a federal holiday as long ago as 1879. But in taking that step, Congress was ratifying a century's popular practice in which Americans celebrated the first president's birthday unofficially, a measure of Americans' esteem for the first holder of the office of president of the United States, for whose ancestral home the Sulgrave Manor Trust is privileged to care. Despite the United States having for more than half a century a uniform federal holiday law, there has been no such agreement among the states about the name given to the holiday we celebrate next Monday. 20 states designate the third Monday in February as President's Day, six as Washington's birthday, and one, Virginia, as George Washington Day. Indeed, as our friends and colleagues at Mount Vernon remind us, Virginia devotes the entire month of February to celebrating the first president's birthday. We at Sawgrave join with our American friends and supporters in celebrating the birthdays of America's two greatest presidents on Monday, February the 21st. Why two? Well, five Midwestern and Western states include Lincoln, whose actual birthday is on February the 12th, in the celebrations on the third Monday in February. And Sawgrave will celebrate not Lincoln's birthday, but his life on March 21st this year, when Professor Richard Carverdine, the distinguished biographer of Lincoln, will give a Sawgrave lecture via Zoom on the topic of Abraham Lincoln and democratic political leadership. If greatness in a president is measured in significant part by the durability and breadth of a president's legacy, Lincoln and Washington's greatness endures and continues to shape lives across the democratic world. So please do join us on that special occasion on March 21st at 4 p.m. The congressman who shepherded the Uniform Monday Holiday Bill through the House's Judiciary Committee 51 years ago was the Republican Robert McClory of Illinois. For him, the legislation's primary purpose was to provide more opportunities for family togetherness and more opportunities for people to visit the great historic sites of our nation, such as the great Lincoln country of Illinois, Williamsburg, Yorktown, Washington DC, Mount Vernon, Gettysburg, and a number of other historic places which we associate with these great national holidays. To Congressman McClory's invitation to, great, to visit great American historic places, I add my personal invitation to you all in 2022 to visit a great American historic place in England, Soulgrave. We look forward to welcoming you. Happy President's Day, happy George Washington Day, and happy Washington and Lincoln Day too. Thank you.